Oh, What'd you get, Bobby? Oh, my what is that? Some highlighters. I got 30 colors from Miss Jackie herself. And so it's like a highlighter sign. And it's like a. And then there's like a little pen side. Oh! So it's like real skinny. You see? Yeah. Skinny. And, and so whole game. I said Miss Jackie Newton. So she is so sweet. I love her. All these are my bags. I don't know how they're gonna fit. Bobby gonna is obsessed fit. with mark colored pencils, markers. Uh, and yeah, very much. So they'll all be in my pencil bag somehow, or maybe I'll just throw this in my backpack. You gonna take that to school? I might just have to start doing that. Well, what are you taking notes? I type on my notes. Oh, you fancy now, huh? This thing's kind of electronic. This oh. Year. Oh, this year. This year. Really yes. good. Well, hey, y'all. Jackie Newton got me something, too. I'm so excited. I wanted this, and I need this for my next video. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I need this for my next video. Um, this is an overhead stand for my phone. And when I set it up, I'm gonna let you guys see. I'm so excited, thank you. And she got Sydney um, a water bottle. Sydney is obsessed with water bottles. You can say thank you, Sydney. Thanks, girl. <laughs> thank you. And then um, Mabel sent me a card with a few dollars in it. Thank you, Mabel. Love you. Mabel, I was trying to email you to invite your grandson to my tutorial that I had. And um, I emailed you twice. I was like, Mabel, are you going to have your, your, your grandson log in? Uh, let's see, Rachel Castle. I've known her forever. And we've never met, but we've just become friends over the past 10 years, maybe. Maybe kind of more, and she sent me a beautiful card. Thank you, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Okay, so now we are going on our day, and I can't wait to show you what I'm going to make next <laughs> to share with you. And it does not need to only be for Christmas. <laughs> Santa treating us this year. How he treat you last year? You ain't get nothing. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going into urgent care so we can all get tested. Sydney is ready to bust out through the seams. So we're gonna. No, I'm, not gonna I'm not even gonna have Corona. I'm not gonna have Corona. Why have to get tested? Sydney. He's on the move. <laughs> You're getting tested, Bobby. Yeah, this is not bad at all. It's but not bad at all. If I don't have corona, and then, then that's your extra security before you start exposing yourself and team members. You can't even get tested, your mom. Why? It's zero to twenty-one. Okay. I'm well, not even tested either. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not 21. I'm, you're trying to be grown. I am 21. This is like COVID. This is not this. Why 
Why are you acting all sad, Bobby? Because I don't want to get tested. For one, I don't have corona. Like it's, it's better to know. It's better to know than not know. Than to know and not know. <laughs> What do you mean it burns? It just burns. It's not like if you sweat it and you get water in your nose. It's it doesn't hurt. It just burns. Like not bad though. It's like it's like this. When I went to go get tested last time, I got tested and I was like, and I really didn't want to. Like I I it took me a second to even pull down my mask, and then they did it, and then we got in the car and I was like, oh, like that wasn't even that no, bad. No, people are dramatic. Corey says every time she gets tested, she involuntarily cries. And yeah, because like it eyes, just happens. Yeah, how far up do they go? Not that far. It's not that bad. But this is gonna, I'm gonna get. Get to a picture, Sydney. critics, Bobby. Cut that 
That's what makes it great. That's what humanizes us. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody's perfect. There's a hole in it. I know. Okay. There's a hole in the back too. Okay. You brought you me see? a t-shirt that you salvaged. You see? Uh -huh. There's a hole in like one of the wires. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This Did you see the shoes I wore? That's in the frame? And you talking about that? Yeah, this is a shirt I got in like sixth grade. I mean, I can send matching ones, but I didn't want to throw it away. Aww. So, it's my new sleep shirt. Oh, rookie? But yeah. Because, you know, I'm wearing a lot of crop tops. I got my belly right here. Let's see, Bobby. How's she doing? <laughs> so do we wait in here? Wait, so how long do you find out? It's normally like 20 minutes. Oh, really? I think they said 15. Yeah, they did. Wait, so we find out before we leave here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys. So, Sydney, I'm negative. <laughs> Sydney, she was about to have a fit if that thing came back so what the lady said i asked her several questions she says that um once you get it and you know you recover or whatever you have the antibodies in there and your antibodies will last approximately three months and then after that people have gotten tested after that and there were no more antibodies they get you can do a test for antibodies so it's like you're okay for like three months she says about three months and then you can get it again and I asked her about the virus and she had concerns about the virus being a year and she says she thinks that it's supposed to prolong the antibodies that they put in you but it's not certain how long that will last so once you get COVID you can get it again um, but you're like protected for like three months so, how you feel now, Bobby? Good. Great. Sydney, you feeling like a rock star? Like a rock star. <laughs> I think the hardest part for her, she was really, she didn't feel well for maybe a day or so. And I was like, what? You can't get regular sick? Regular cold does not exist anymore? So that was me and she was persistent on wanting to get tested so we took her to get tested and then within two days she was already feeling up slightly better she still has a little nasal congestion and she doesn't have all her taste buds back can you smell mm -mm. so she can't smell well or taste so it's very very minor she said that is starting to come back um but outside of that, she did have fever for like a day or two. She wasn't feeling well. And she kept telling me, can you feel my head? Can you feel my head? I think the hardest part for her was being in that room. The hardest part for us was properly serving her all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you done? You glad that's over, Bobby? Jesus, yes. Your little notes were cute though. Oh yeah. My what? Your notes were cute. Oh, <laughs> should we go get some french fries? French fries? I thought we was going to make burgers. Oh, all right. And you got to clean, lots of cleaning. All right, guys, so that's the update. I'm um, glad she's feeling a little better. I mean, the mood was a little <laughs> out there, but, you know, she's used to being a social butterfly. Maybe, sit. Maybe that was God's way of telling her to sit her tail down somewhere, you know?